Yo, it's YNWB Slime, and I'm jumping off the porch again with Dirty Girl Bastard. Slap. Hey, baby, I'm be slime. It's nice to meet ya. I saw you from a mile away. It's great to see ya. You looking? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We right back at it, y'all. You know we got the one Jack. and only YMWB Slime jumping off the porch with us today. What's up, bro? Yeah, that ain't much. Just chilling, bro. You good? Yeah, man. I'm great, bro. Appreciate you for asking. How you feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. How about you? Yeah, man. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up, man. Shit, man. Everything is good, bro. You know what I mean? Got you right back on the porch with us. You know, know what I mean? Like I said earlier, man, you, you're true to this and I knew to this. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But a lot has changed, you know, since. Oh, yeah. I know that. You know what I mean? Since you was on the porch with us last a few years ago bro so i mean let's just jump right into it man like what, what you been working on lately bro um i've been trying to get good at madden huh i'm doing a pretty good jo job at it, you know yeah i'm undefeated right now when huh. it comes like in between my friend group i'm undefeated yeah but yeah, other than that you know music more music and like started playing football oh okay. flag though i can't do the contact <laughs> yeah, so, so you ain't with the contact sports, but you'll do some flag nah, football flag, or something like that, going some 7 on 7. Keep my cardio up, do yeah. 7 on 7 here and there. Yeah. You, know you dubbing saying? cats on the Madden or what? Huh? I said you dubbing cats on that Madden or what? Oh, yeah, you know that. Yeah. You can get it too. <laughs> oh, I'm a 2K guy, you know what okay, I mean? Okay. I ain't gonna even front. I, I don't want to smoke at Madden, but you know what I'm saying? I, I can still come with it though. Sure. Bring the 49ers out, you know what I mean? Mm, 49ers. <laughs> yeah, that's the squad. <laughs> Oh, man. But nah, man, so it's, you've been highly anticipated, bro, over the last couple of years because you haven't dropped much music, you yeah. know what I mean? And you had such a crazy buzz, you know, before you took your hiatus. So can you just kind of speak to, you know, uh, why you did decide to take a step back and, you know, what, what you've been focusing on over this time? Um, really, I took a hiatus to really, you know, it is all about the music and somebody who was at the height that I was at in that moment, you know, they would have been like, why did you do that? But life is deeper than just, what's the word I'm looking for? Life is deeper than just antics and mm. blowing up and making money. I had to really take time and elevate as a human yeah. and as like a person and find myself. A lot of that happened, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Bro, case got delayed, Vaughn had died, two people that I'm very close to, you know what I'm saying? So I just took time, stepped back, evolved as a person, had to think, hey, why am I doing this? And then now I'm coming back, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Getting back into music. Word. That's I learned how to record myself too, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Word. And you've been producing like your own music too, right? Yeah, nah, that's what's up, man. I mean, it's so important for us to be mindful to be able to take those steps back when we need to. I think a couple of years ago, I remember seeing uh, Simone Biles, the, uh, the, the gymnast, yeah. when she was at the Olympics and she just decided to just take a step back. And everybody, even including me back then, had something to say about it. Like, man, how you, you know, about to go and, you know, get your Olympic medal and all of that and then just step back. But when you really, have that understanding that it's more to life than just accolades, it's more to life than just trophies and, and a check and all of that, yeah. then you kind of unlock, you know what I'm saying, like that, that door to just having just a better understanding of, of our purpose exactly. and things like you that. You said it perfectly. And again, bro, we are human, bro. Life isn't just about what you see on your phone and what you see on the screen. Yeah. Sometimes you got to live life for what life actually is, no, not through sure. a camera. Nah, for sure, for sure. And for you, was it, was it a conscious thing where you say, you know what, I need to step back? Or was it like a series of events or, you know what I mean, things that happened? I mean, I, I know ultimately what it was, but meaning like, was it a series of events in terms of like, where you were finding yourself? Yeah, it was, a, it was, it was, more, it was mostly like a series of events. Like, I started this when I was like, what, 12? So it was like, I didn't really get to be a kid. Hmm. You know, I realized that, so I took time to be a kid, then stuff started happening, and then music started to kind of like, feel like a job, if that makes sense. Yeah. Know? When something started feeling like a job, bro, I don't want to do it no more. Mm -hmm. That's just personally how I feel. Yeah. But I had to actually find the love for it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now that I actually found the love for it, I'm willing to do it, mm -hmm. and we'll take this as far as I can, because it don't feel like a job. Word, word. And so what were some of the things that you, uh, 
that you decided to do when you took the step back? Um, um, like, was it, you know, like, did you go to therapy or did no. you? You know? know what I did? Okay. I sat in Discord. Ah, okay. Okay. I sat, that, in, I sat in Discord. That's another kind of therapy. With all my friends. <laughs> yeah. We played video games from sunrise to sunset. Okay. Wow. Every day. Yeah. For the whole summer. Then when COVID happened, for all of that, in 2021 yeah. to 2022, and I started to like creep back into music in mm-hmm. 2023. Wow. I learned how to record myself, I learned how to make beats, and now I'm back. Wow. Okay, that's what's up, that's what's up. And so during that time, did you, did you learn things about yourself that you might not have even have known you know, before? Did you like learn, find, you know, discover yeah. new things about yourself? Most definitely. That's what's up. And what were some of those, you know, what were some of those things? Were you finding yourself not wanting to hang out around the same types of people? Were you yeah. Fun, you know I, mean? I realized that I don't like kids. Hmm. I don't like being around kids. Why? And, what, and elaborate on that, I also that, realized yeah. that I will eat onions on my burger if I'm hungry enough. No cap. Grill or, or raw onions? Raw. Okay. If I'm, only if I'm hungry enough. Like, if I'm not hungry... I'm not going to eat it. Yeah. But if I'm hungry, bro, I'll eat it, bro. I'm not going to lie. Word. I can dig it. I can dig it. And what were some of the things in terms of, what were some of the things that you learned about yourself in terms of being able to like kind of channel yourself and, you know what I mean, like push some of the stress away and push some of that negative energy that may have been consuming you away? Um, music. I've been making the music because I actually did not know how to, to like to control my emotions mm. when I was a jit. I used to um, kind of handle it thoroughly through like I like getting hella mad mm-hmm. or like just like balling up and not talking to nobody. Yeah. But I realized, man, that's not the way to do things, bro. You gotta you gotta know how to express yourself. Yeah. You can't ball everything up because. You could die that way. Yeah, nah, for sure. I mean, die from stress. Like, you could exactly. stress yourself out, you know what I mean? Give yeah. yourself a heart attack or high blood pressure, you know what I mean, from all that. Um, and then the, the biggest thing with that, bro, and the, probably the most difficult thing is being able to identify those triggers. Like, yeah. what's making me mad? What's making me upset? What's making me, you know, feel these different emotions? Exactly. I had to learn that. Definitely had to learn that at a young age. Yes. Yeah. Nah, for yeah. sure. And for you to be learning that at a, at a young age, bro, like you so many steps ahead of the game with shit. I mean, there are some people that don't even learn that ever or, you know, what I mean, don't learn that until they at the midlife crisis state. You know what exactly. I mean? So that, that, that's good that you have that insight and, and want to be able to learn about yourself, willing to take that look in the mirror at yourself and, you know, what I mean, really identify like, who's there, who you looking at, and, and fix that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's what's up, man. So you, um, you had a video truck <laughs> go outside of uh, yeah. the prison and, and, and play your video free melody. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was, that was, um, that was a little, um, what's the word I'm looking for? That was a mission. Yeah. Yeah, that was a mission for nah, sure. No, that's what's up, man. And, and what made you think outside the box like that and, you know, do that and, and, and pull it up to the, to the spot? Because I, I saw the video, like, he, he's, he's beating on the window. <laughs> See, with that, it's like, it was more like a thing, like, I dropped this song called Free Melly. I'm like, dang, I'm not going to lie, bro, because he don't really get to see nothing. You know what I'm saying? Right. He didn't even know that I had dropped, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So he don't really know nothing. So I was just like, dang, this would be an epic idea. I didn't think video truck at first. At, th- at first I thought like bringing a truck and like putting a TV on the back of the truck because mm-hmm. from the window they can see like right. TV and stuff. Like some people pull up, watch the game, all that, you know what I'm saying? But then I was, I was in contact with my manager. He was like, I know somebody with a video truck. We can go out there put it out there mm-hmm. on the video truck and you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It'll be cool. It'll be dope. Record it. And yeah. Nah, that's what's up. That's what's up. And, and what did he, what did he think about it? Like when you finally did, you know, talk to him and um, he was like, I forgot what exactly he said. Cause he don't get phone calls. It was actually like in a letter okay. or I forgot if he put it in a letter, a letter or he said it in court, but he was like, he's so, so proud of me Word. and keep putting on. And he'll be home soon. Where? That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Has he given you uh, any advice, um, you know, during the time that he's been away or just any, you know, words to try to keep you, you know, positive um, and keeping it, you know, moving forward? 
I can't really say, like, you really do be telling me, but I'll say, I'll say, like, the basic stuff that you be telling me, like, mm -hmm. keep your head up, it's almost over, keep putting on, you're doing a good job, bro. Don't, whenever it get overwhelming. One thing he does tell me is whenever it gets overwhelming, you don't got to do this. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He always tell me that. Nah, that's what's up. That's what's up. And that just makes you want to keep doing it even more. Yeah. Nah, for sure. Because I think if you, if you get, like how we were talking about earlier, and earlier when we first started talking, if, if you can, you know, have that understanding that, like, there's more to life than just you know, what we do exactly. and, and what we do as a job or, 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 or a career or whatever, that doesn't necessarily define us. You know what I mean? It's and other I, things like us being good people, and having principles exactly. and things like that. And I, and I realized that like a lot of people get stuck in that, bro. Hmm. And that's not even talking like music and the business, the entertainment business. Yeah. It has nothing to do with that. I'm talking about real life things like people really revolve their life around school, going to college, getting a j good job, yeah. working that good job all the way until they're like 50 yeah. and they retire. Then they realize, they look back and they realize, damn, I didn't really even get to live life yeah. because I was so busy trying to make money yeah. and keep, keep my family and everybody financially stable that I didn't take no vacations and do this, I didn't yeah. do that. And now I'm about to die. <laughs> right. Nah, you know that's real. And, and you was nice by saying 50 because folks be retiring at 70 and 80. you know what I mean? And you've got a couple years to just enjoy or, or whatever, you know? So, nah, bro, it, it's, it's definitely more to life than just, you know, that standard way of moving and the traditional way of how we were supposed or, or how, you know, our parents and grandparents and different folks were telling us how to do things. Yeah. It, that doesn't stand, you know, today, you know what I mean? Today, you can be an entrepreneur, you can, I mean, you could be a, literally be an influencer, be a person, find a niche, get a, a big audience, and then now you're a, you know what I mean, you're an influencer. influencer. So, I mean, like, those types of careers weren't even around, you Back know what then, I mean, years yeah. ago. So people couldn't even fathom the thought of wanting to, like, work for yourself and create opportunities for yourself and things like that, so. Yeah. Um, now, you dropped that Baby Go album, a while ago. Yeah, man. And I mean, it was going crazy, though, you know, when you when you dropped it. And then some of the songs are like still going crazy. Like yeah. some of them are still going crazy on TikTok. That's a blessing. That's yeah. a blessing. Like sure. that slime dreams. Like I seen the um, I be on TikTok here and I, I be seeing um, that Just Want You goes viral. here. Yeah, and there. that's all. This is, that's about to mention. I just want you like it's going crazy on there. That's, too. All, that's all a blessing. Yeah. Nah, that's what's that. up, man. How's it feel to know that? even after these years of being able to take a hiatus that your music still streaming and that you still buzzing like that because that's not common that's not normal it just says something bro you know god always throws signs at you you know what i'm saying god always throws signs like hey this is meant for you you know what i'm saying yeah so for me to go four years almost five years without dropping any like full body of work yeah that just speaks volume i feel yeah no, i could dig it when you so you took this hiatus and then when you started back recording like did you notice that your voice had changed i noticed that my voice had changed through everyday life i'd be on the game a lot yeah so like my friends all my friends my dog leo my dog michael they were the first to be like yo nigga your voice getting deeper i'm like <laughs> okay like duh nigga <laughs> right it's supposed to happen right so yeah, but when I got on the mic, I feel like when um in like 2020, mm -hmm. when I had first like went back to the studio and I realized I'm like, nah, this this shit don't sound the same on the mic no more, bro. Mm -hmm. I was like, damn, this shit really don't sound the same on the mic no more. Yeah, cause I would so imagine I to like that's got to be crazy, like you. You know, you so used to to your sound being a certain way, and then now your voice changes, and you go in there, and I, I'm sure like even when you messing like with your voice, like different tones and stuff like that, yeah. you're like, wait a minute, or or you put some auto tune on it or something like that, you like, Damn. I don't really use much auto tune. I just kind of had to adjust. Mm. I kind of used it to my advantage to start making more mature music because I can't really make. Back then, I couldn't really make such mature music with such a high voice. Like no one's gonna take it serious. So. Right. I started making more mature music and just evolving my sound in a way. Nah, I can dig it. Like talking about more of your experiences yeah. and things like that. And then I'm sure that you, that you find that so many, 
you know, people your age going through some of the same things, exactly. feeling misunderstood, feeling like they don't have a voice. You know what I mean? I hear in your music um, or in your music, you were talking about and, and sometimes you talk about like just, just feeling alone. Exactly. You know what I mean? Um, and so it's so many people that feel that way, whether you're like, you know, whether it's a physical thing or it's just you're alone, like in your thoughts and in, you know, whatever you're going through, because other yeah. people might not be able to relate to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So <clears throat> how do you stay positive, you know, through everything that you've gone through so far? Like, how do you keep that positive outlook and, and move that way? Um, I feel like God don't give you nothing that you can't handle. So I just look at that. I just keep it pushing. Mm. That's the best way to, you know, kind of break it down. Yeah, no, I can dig it. And what would you say is one of the biggest life lessons that you've learned to this day? Um, I said this the last time I was on here. Well, give you us know? a different one, bro, because we got. I know you got more than one life lesson. In, but it's like in, the in biggest one. Like I'm not gonna <laughs> lie, my life lesson still has not changed. Like Word. this is still the biggest one to me. Is don't take anything in life for granted mm. because in a second it can all be taken away from you just like that. Mm. I said that the last time I was up here, but yeah. my, li my life lesson still has not changed. You are. And I mean, and that's still important though, because I mean, and, and you even, you know, see this and it's a testament to it now, you know what I mean? Where, I mean, there's so many people who wish that they could take a hiatus from music and their music would still be streaming and then they could come back and then, you know, they're getting hundreds of thousands to millions of streams. I mean, that's- and It's a blessing. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, for sure, and then, for sure. And then also follow your dreams, man. Don't, don't, oh yeah, don't live your, don't live your life trying to live another person's dream. I hate that shit. Mm. Like, I really hate that shit. Yeah. Don't live your life around trying to make somebody else proud because it's not their life at the end of the day. Yeah. It's your life. Yeah. Follow your dreams, do what you want to do, and don't let nobody else control your life. Bro. No, I can dig it, man. No, that's super important because um you got to go out and do it for you exactly. you know what i mean like can't nobody else and, and a lot of times you know parents uh you know put kind of that uh that put bug. that pressure on us they'll put that bug in, yeah. in your ear like you gotta you gotta go to school right you gotta be a doctor or i'm kicking you out when you're 18. <laughs> right right like, what the whole time in your mind like i don't talk to some people like they'd be like bro i'm not gonna lie bro I'm literally just doing what I'm doing right now for my mom, bro. Like, I don't yeah. want to do this. I'm like, bro, you got to change that, bro. Yeah, not for sure. You know, but but to, to our parents' uh, defense as well, they're telling us things that they feel are going to at least keep us in a positive direction to not, you know, to, to not fall into some bullshit. Bro. I understand that, but there's different ways of doing that. Yep. Instead of just trying to formulate somebody else's life. You know what right, I'm saying? right. Because a lot, because a lot of times they'll try to almost live vicariously through us or through exactly, you. You know exactly. what I mean? So then it's like, all right, wait a minute. Like I don't even really want to do that, but you want that, so that's why you're pushing so hard. Exactly. Nah, man. And sometimes I'm not gonna say malicious intent, but parents do that as a way to like, this kid is gonna be the breadwinner for the family. Like, yeah. you're gonna go to school, you're gonna be a doctor, and you're gonna take care of me. Yeah. But they do that without actually saying that. Like, they don't say that, but they'll push you in that direction. Yeah. Like, no, nah, yeah. for sure, for sure. So I, I saw somewhere that uh, you know, early in your career, you had made a decision to uh, step away from school. Yeah. Are you? Would you go back? Would you? Most would definitely. You that? Okay. But I would go back not to like hang out with people mm -hmm. i'll just go back to like walk a stage because i'm doing online school i'm homeschool it's okay. pretty boring that's what's up that's what's up but, nah man because at the end of the day bro i think even even like if you know we say like all right man school ain't my thing like i don't really want to do that at the end of the day some of these things bro we have to it's like you have to start something and be able to complete it exactly you know what i mean and and, and us doing that is having an understanding too that you know everything in life isn't about what we like or what we want to do some things are about that sacrifice and then some things in life are just about we just got to do it you know exactly. what I mean? so but in, but in, on the tip of like principles and all of that i feel like you know what i mean the uh, starting something and finishing it is super important so that, so that's dope that you um you know go go through and uh, actually finish that got you so uh ymw melly uh released 772 love part yeah. three um 
you featured on is going crazy. Got like I think like three million uh, views on YouTube already. Yeah. Um, can you talk about that song and then just how popular like the 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 you know that series of songs ha- ha- has come? Yeah. Know, has been. Well, first off, the first seven seven two love. I was like, what? Nine? I was a little nigga. When I think back to that, I was a little man. But I was in that video and I was grounded. So <laughs> I was actually happy that that video was taking place because I got to play the game wow. even though I was grounded for the video. <laughs> so it was epic. Yeah. But also, you know, it's just, it's just always been like, I don't know, like it was the first song. I don't know, it's something about the 772 Love series. like. It was one of the first songs to push my brother out there. So just to be a part of that series is just, I'm very grateful. Um, I think I was actually, no, I wasn't there when he recorded the original, but that song, that beat that you hear, that mm. wasn't the original beat. Oh, okay. It was some other beat. It was like some little Uzi type beat or something. Yeah. I forget. But yeah, it's just, I'm grateful to be a part of it. No, for sure. And that's just a testament to Melly having such timeless music. Because, yeah. you know, for him to be, you know, gone for these years, but then to still be putting out, you know, songs that are impactful to the culture, especially, you know, the culture and everything moves pretty fast. You know what I mean? Yeah, so so you for can, his music to be able to still pop out there, like, I tell people all the time, bro, all the Melly stuff that you're hearing is five years or plus older. Wow. I mean, some of it was in 2019, but only a few of those because that's when he started you know what I'm saying to move around he was on tour and he wasn't really worried about making music yeah so every all that all that um, work that y'all hear all that is like five-year-old formula and I find that pretty epic that his music from five years ago is still able to resonate with what's going on now in hip-hop culture it's yeah. pretty amazing no nah, for sure for sure timeless uh, you collab with Kid G yeah. uh, on the song Left Me, country and boy. that was a whole different sound on, on a country music vibe. How'd you connect with bro? How'd that happen? How'd that come about? I've been to Kid like, before the music. Well, not before the music, but like before we made our song, so mm-hmm. I've been to him. It was kind of just like we were in the studio. I had no intentions on recording that night. I literally just came to like chill. But he was like, yo, bro, it's like we got to get something in. I'm like, in my head, I'm thinking, like, how the hell am I about to do this? But I'm like, nigga, I'm me. I'm going to do it. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, bet, let's do it. Then we made Left Me. It's pretty cool. Yeah, no, that's what's up. And how did the fans receive that? Um, they actually loved it. They actually want me and Kid to make more songs. Mm. And I found, I, found, I found that record to be really powerful. Yeah. Just because of what I've been talking about. Yeah, could, that's pretty cool. Could you see yourself doing more music in that realm? Could you most, see yourself doing Most definitely. Yeah. Most definitely. I try to stay out of, I try to, I try to stay out of a box. Like, I don't like being genreized as like a rapper or nothing. Yeah. So I try to do everything, like literally everything. So I most definitely see myself staying in the country lane. Wow. In the R&B lanes and the pop lanes, the rock. I want to make a rock song. That's wow. the next song I'm going to make. Was it a challenge for you to get into that pocket? No. I actually freestyled that whole verse. Oh, <laughs> word. Okay. Didn't write nothing. And you got new music on the way too, right? You got a new yeah. project on the way? Can you talk yeah. about that? Um, can't really say much, but album real soon. Okay. Can you tell us when? We got an approximate date or a... I got a date, but can't disclose it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get is it going to be one of those are you going to like just pop up like out the blue and just drop this joint for your fans is it going to be like that or are you going nah, to it's going to be it's going to be like you're going to know yeah you know what I'm saying you're going to know just can't say much right, right. now but nah, I can dig it. you're going to know like you're yeah. going to see me start popping out more and okay yeah. word word and uh what else you working on like what else you got coming up that you can't speak on um I got a single dropping in March okay of the 22nd this month and then can you disclose that title it's called save me okay yeah yeah <laughs> that shit. yeah yeah all right yeah 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 it's me his bro and his jiffo stand all right that's what's up man um 
And then uh, what else can fans uh, expect from you? I know you've been streaming lately. Like, are you on Twitch yeah. streaming? Like, where are you streaming at? Um, I be streaming sometimes, like yeah. not all the time. They want me to start streaming all the time, but I don't know. Like, I shout out to Cuss and that. That's, I don't see how he does that. He's able to entertain people for so long, 24-hour right. streams, all that. And shout out to him. And to be honest, shout out to all the streamers who are doing that because I can't stay in the camera for like, like you saw like this interview is probably going to be only like 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's the longest I can stay in the camera. Like right. music videos are only like a couple hours, but yeah, it's not see, like it's not off. It's not live. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, I can I can see you uh, I can see you at Kai's spot though. You know what I mean? Y'all streaming and doing. You know what I mean? I'll be real cool. Yo, Kai, if you see this, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, we play Madden. I'm gonna do you so bad in Madden. I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna do that. But we could just talk. I'm not gonna do that, bro. I think somebody just made him break his stick. I forgot who he was just playing. He was just playing somebody in Madden. He was playing 21. Yeah, that's pretty cool. 21 can get it too. You wanna play Madden? Get it too. Huh. <laughs> now that's what's up, man. Um, you got any shout outs? Uh, you know what um, I'm shout out to Kai Sinat. Again, I'm not gonna lie. Shout out Kai for the stream and stuff. I'm not gonna lie. I don't see how you do it. Um, Shout out to like all the artists who are out there trying to make music now, to all the artists who done made it. Shout out to the artists who are doing it for God as well. Um, shout out to my family, shout out to my support system. Shout out to me, of course. Nice and um, you know what I'm saying? Just shout out to God. Right. Yeah, gotta do that. And before we and before we get out of here, bro, can you just give the people some advice um, in terms of what they can do to, you know? Oh, one more shout out. You play Call of Duty. You uh, what other games you be on? You be on the GTA. Uh, I be on GTA sometimes. I got a modded. Uh, I can't expose that. I don't have a modded <laughs> account. I don't know nothing about that. But I be on GTA sometimes. I play Fortnite here and there, but not as much as I used to. I used to, I used to play Call of Duty, yeah. but I'm not gonna lie, bro. Playing ranked really just destroyed my mental. I played League of Legends as well. Pretty cool game. And yeah, that's about it. Right. I really just be downstairs recording myself now. I don't really play many like video games how I used to. Twitch TV slash B Slizzer, and that's B S I. B S I Z Z E R. Slizzer. B Slizzer. It's like B Slime, but like Slizzer. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what made me come up with that lame ass name, but it's pretty cool in my eyes. I can dig it. That's what's up, man. Well, now, and then before you leave us, bro, I just want you to uh, give your fans, give oh, yeah. your people the advice, some, some positive words of wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Um, back to it. Um, follow your dream. Don't let nobody live through you. Follow your dream. Life is more than just accolades as well. Like he said, life is more than just accolades. Live life, live your life, follow your dreams. Um, and realize that um, to all my young fans, don't try to fall in love for lust. Don't ever do that because you're gonna be miserable. And um. What else? Um, don't give up to all the sad people out there. Don't give up. You're worth it. You're pretty. You're gorgeous. Um, don't let nobody bring you down ever because your soul is perfect. And um, what else? That's about it, man. I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? Love y'all. I love y'all more than y'all know. YMW4L. And yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, that boy YMWB Slime. Appreciate you jumping off the porch with us, bro. Hey, baby, I'm be slime. It's nice to meet ya. I saw you from a mile away. It's great to see ya.